everyone, thanks for watching tonight. And today I'm going to talk about raising your vibration and exercise. So leave me a comment below, let me know what your favorite way to get exercise is, or what you've tried in the past. So I'm excited to see what you guys share. I've tried all different kinds of things, um, from horseback riding to um, yoga, of course, you know, I've done bike riding in the past, although I was much younger when I did that, I was still, I don't know, maybe elementary school, <laughs> so, but there's all kinds of ways to exercise, and so that's why I wanted to talk about that tonight. So let me first ask you a few questions. When was the first time, or the last time that you exercised? How did you feel after you exercised? How did you feel for the rest of your day? And did you feel better or worse than if you hadn't exercised in a month or more? Hey, thanks for watching, Dorothea. And yeah, I love, I haven't tried Pilates, but I've tried the other two and love them. So I'm sure I'd like Pilates too. And it's a great way to raise your vibration because you're, when you work out and when you exercise, you're bringing in all that extra oxygen and your mind starts to clear. So you feel happier, more patient, especially for those of you with kids. And you feel more connected with your energy and your power and you feel ready to take on the day and you make better choices throughout that day. So, and especially with like yoga or something like that where it's more mindful and you're taking deep breaths and you're really intentional about everything that you're doing, every movement you're making, that leads out into the rest of your day. You start being more intentional with other choices that you have to make throughout the day. So maybe more intentional about whether you're going to eat that cheeseburger from the fast food joint or you're going to eat some home-cooked meals. <laughs> and I wanted to read a short quote from a book that I've been reading on raising your vibration. It says, your thoughts are creating waves in your life. Just as a ripple moves out on the tide and com comes back in a wave so your thoughts come back to you. For that reason, you want to choose thoughts that are working for you, not against you. And I definitely find that when exercising and when having that time to uh, work out in the mornings that it is a little bit easier to make better choices and so then everything comes back to me. My thoughts are clearer and happier and so other things work out better throughout the rest of the day. So if you are looking for a fun and holistic way to get exercise, a little coaching around spirituality, nutrition, um, and holistic health, comment with a me too or a fun emoji and we will get connected and we'll chat soon. So. I'll see you guys next week and talk soon. Bye.